so let's get this video off to an epic start. The track is on site. Um, so thanks to Fusion Studios, we have pictures of track on site. So it looks like all five to six pieces were constantly arriving and there are some rare pieces that were arriving too. It looks like we have some curved pieces that arrived. I was not expecting that. It looks like they're shipping these pieces in quickly due to maybe the steel tariffs. Probably, maybe, who knows? Is it the trade war? I don't know, but all the pieces are coming really quickly um, and it's literally like a piece per truck. Um, but yes, thanks again for this footage. So this is obviously the clamp breaks after the, um, what appears to be the uh, magnetic breaks that uh, start off the brake run. And this will be the clamps, clamp, clamp. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so I was shocked. There are definitely um, curved pieces that were arriving just after this. I heard it was like a fleet of trucks arriving. Um, so that's really epic. Um, so the cat's out of the bag. Lots of people are gonna start seeing these as they're arriving in the parking lot um, during operating hours. This arrived before park closing today. So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely dive coaster track. It's really thick. It's exactly like Val Raven. Um, and vertical construction is probably going to start right off the bat. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. But let's get into our construction update. So I was at the park today um, and I wanted to talk about a little bit of the, you know, what's going on in this area and all that. So we know the Imolin Loop is here. We know the tunnel's there, blah, blah, blah. We know it heads over there. And uh, yeah, just a lot of... Um, not much going on today, to be honest. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so I guess the big thing is that they're prepping a certain area for a certain big thing. <clears throat> is this the area I'm talking about? What? What's that support for? I don't know. Wink, wink. Um, I'm kidding. Um, I will definitely reveal some. I'm not going to reveal elements on the coaster. Um, I definitely did talk to the park. Um, and I'm going to um, refrain from revealing anything in too much on the uh, project. So whatever I revealed yesterday is pretty much all I revealed um, and all I'm going to reveal. And I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing though. If I do find things, I will reveal them to you guys. Whatever is on public property is on public property and uh, both parties acknowledge that. So moving forward, nothing's gonna change. Um, just not gonna reveal certain elements to you guys as a whole. Again, I revealed a lot. I don't feel like anyone really wants to know the full out coaster until announcement day. I think everyone just wants to enjoy the teasing campaign that's about to start, um, which is super cool. So you're definitely looking at like, you know, I'm, I'm filming certain areas of the coaster in terms of what I saw in the blueprints. So whatever you wanna take from this footage and use, or uh, determine, go ahead and do. I'm definitely using the camera as a, kind of like a little bit of like, uh, this is gonna be that. Um, but yeah, um, I will say these footers with no supporting connectors definitely play an interesting role in the coaster and symbol um, symbolize what's going to be in that area. Um, so I definitely understand why there are certain footers with nothing on them now, which is super cool. Um, now next to our next area. So this area, um, the cement's done, the pre uh, lift hill's done. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're digging, they dug out more. I mean, this is like almost the size of a small house foundation down in there. I wonder why that or what that could be for. Very interesting, eh? What could it be for? It's almost like, you know, the size of a, a house. Hmm. Interesting. Wonder what it could be for. But yeah, anyways, lots of construction going on in this area. The cement is dry on all the footers now. So again, we're down to probably 20 days. Um, probably not. <laughs> I'm not even going to discuss the looks. Um, we're down to probably 20 days before they can put footers on the turnout of the station. Um, they're definitely going to start vertical construction on the station very shortly. It looks like they're rushing a lot and the construction companies that or fabrication companies that are in charge of erecting these coasters or this coaster is uh, on site and ready to go. So I know it's going to be any day now. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm like so much is about to happen. Um, you know that there's going to be a drone update tomorrow before the park opens. I'll fly that thing up and get some footage of the uh, <clears throat> what arrived today. So I had something in my throat. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, 
Anyways, I do want to thank you guys. You guys have been here from the beginning. Some of you have been here from the beginning. Some of you are new, but thank you for watching all these videos. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. You have no idea what um, that all does and means to me. This channel is growing so fast and it's all because of you. And I actually mean that. This channel is all about you. Um, so with that said, I want you guys message me on Instagram. Tell me what you want me to cover. Um, you know, I, I need to start looking at other things, covering other things. So message me, let me know what you want to see on the channel. And I promise you, I will take whatever you send me seriously and most likely make a video on it. Um, as long as it's not too dull or too tacky, I will try my best to make an interesting video on it. So definitely give me a message and let me know what you want me to cover. But yeah, this is them digging out the hole even more. No, they're not digging out the footers. There's a big footer in there. Um, and I double checked, they're digging out the foundation even more. What? Did I say foundation? Oops, I'm kidding. Um, now an interesting um, aspect I want to cover is, hmm, with all the track arriving, probably due to the trade war, where could they store it all? Because if I recall, that little track site they built beside Behemoth hmm, can't fit too much. I wonder, did they just remove something from Kingswood to make room for something? Are there construction walls that are new that appeared in there? I'm not sure. Do you guys see anything? I don't. I'm kidding. Um, so yes, construction walls have appeared in there. Definitely, um, they're probably going to store track in this area. From what I know and guessing, uh, track is going to be arriving um, <laughs> very quickly um, and all at once. So yeah, I'm guessing that it should be arriving very shortly and that's super exciting. I can't wait to see where it's all stored, where it's going. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but yeah. Um, so this is just the area showing where the coaster will probably turn back around. Wait, back around, this far out? <gasps> no way, what? And this is where it's going to head back over towards the coaster station brake run. What, what's gonna happen in here? <gasps> what's gonna happen in here? What could possibly be going on in this area with a dive coaster? <gasps> Hmm, I wonder. Anyways, I'm just like teasing you guys a little bit because I don't want to reveal too much. Um, definitely, uh, this is going to be a fun project to cover. And uh, don't worry, nothing's going to stop. Um, I'm still going to go. So give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, share this video. Um, have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.